Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna paint a cute little turkey for kids. You're gonna need, well, really you can choose what colors you want. These are the colors I'm gonna use, but your turkey can be any color you want. Red, orange, yellow, purple, brown, black, and white. I have my favorite brushes, my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water as well as a rag for keeping your brushes clean ready to go. Let's get started. We are going to start with our one inch flat brush and some yellow paint right here. We're going to make a little line right down the middle of our canvas. Now that line is important because that line is going to allow us to use it as a reference point to pulling straight lines out. So all of my lines are going to start from right here. The bottom ones are going to be straight. And by the time I get to the top of the line, they're gonna go up at an angle or straight up to the top. This is gonna be our background of where our turkey feathers are gonna go. So you don't have to fill the whole thing in with yellow. You wanna leave some spaces for other colors. Same brush. I'm not even gonna wash it off. I'm gonna grab some orange paint and I'm gonna pull some orange paint out, starting from that line that I made first and pulling some of that orange out. Wipe that brush off, don't have to wash it off. And now I'm gonna go in with red. Now red is the strongest color on my palette um, at least that I'm using for my turkey feathers. So I don't want to use a whole lot of red. I actually want to be a little sparse with the red because it's going to really take over a lot of this canvas if you use too much. So kind of be gentle with your red. All right, once all my colors are in, even though I know I still have some white spaces showing, I'm going to wash that brush off, wipe it off. And we're going to go back in with yellow. So with that yellow, I'm gonna start now going over these lines and kind of letting them blend together a little bit. So I'm taking this paintbrush and I'm allowing these colors to blend as I'm kind of pulling them up and around. All right, my turkey feathers are about, well, at least the background of my turkey feathers is about finished. I'm gonna wipe my brush off, dry my brush off. We're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in our turkey right here in the center. Okay, so our picture is dry-ish, we'll say dry-ish. Um, I'm gonna go in with my number 10 round brush and some purple paint. I'm gonna make a big old circle right here. So we got our feathers. We're gonna add our body and then we'll add our head. So I'm gonna add a big old purple circle in here. And this purple circle, I am going to paint in um, with both purple and white. I don't want it to be this super, super, super dark purple, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole thing in purple and then I'll show you how we're gonna do our feathers with white. So I've got my purple in there. I can wipe my brush off. And what I'm gonna do with my feathers is I'm just gonna go right across here and make some bumpy lines. So these are just some scalloped lines, some curves lines. If those are hard for you, look, it's just letter U with the letter U attached over and over and over. Now your goal is to have it be um, a light purple color. So you might have to go over it a couple times to make sure you get that light purple color. And 
then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush with some red paint. I'm just gonna add a little bit of red on these little bumps. So I don't want these to be really, really, really bright. Just a little bit of red on my curved lines. Wash my brushes off, wipe my brushes off. Now before we put our turkey body in, we're gonna add some more stuff to our edges right out here, to our feathers. So I'm gonna use my number 10 round brush with a little bit of white paint. And I'm gonna start from the edge of my canvas and kind of pull in. So going from the edge of my canvas and pulling in, I wanna really think about where those lines were that I was had first, where they all kind of went to that same spot. Well, now they're all kind of going to my turkey body. Then I can also take a little bit of brown paint and a little bit of white paint and mix those two up together so I've got a nice light brown color. And do that again using light brown paint. So after I mix some of my brown and some white up, I'm gonna follow that line again. I'm just gonna pull some lines in with some lighter brown paint. Wash that brush off, wipe it off, and set it to the side. We are finished with that brush for a little bit. No, oh, I lied. We're not finished with that brush. It's the number 10 brush. I still need this brush. So now we're going to do our turkey body. And the turkey body looks hard, but it's kind of easy. I'm going to take my brown paint, and I'm going to make an oval right here, just above that belly. So that is going to be my turkey's head. Now from there, he's going to have a skinnier little neck. And then he's going to go back down into a big oval body that's going to kind of connect to the bottom of the canvas. Now I like the way the brown and the purple mix. And so I am okay with them mixing a little bit. Wipe my brush off and I'm going to grab a little bit of white paint and go right around the edges of him with the white paint, just so he kind of stands out a little bit. And then we are gonna let this dry all the way. When we come back, we are gonna add in our final turkey details. Okay, so I've got a dry background. Let's move on to our little turkey face. Now, if you have like um, the end of a pencil or the end of a big paintbrush, see some of my paintbrushes have that point on them, that won't work. But a paintbrush like this that doesn't have that point could work, or you could even use your finger. And what you're looking at doing is just taking a circle shape object, whether it's your pencil, um, your finger, and if you just set that down and make a small circle, you get a great itty bitty circle eyeball. You do wanna make sure that they're about the same size. Perfect. So we're gonna do those first because we want those to dry before we add the final detail to them. I'm gonna move on to my number six round brush with a little bit of yellow paint. So I don't have a whole lot of yellow paint on there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some short little lines going up and down my turkey's body. To show that he's got some feathers. Go ahead and wash that brush off when you're finished and wipe it off. Now we're gonna add our little turkey beacon. And that's just gonna be a little triangle. It goes right here between the eyes. 
and it just kind of goes down. Now, if your orange is a pretty dark orange like mine, you can add a little bit of yellow to it to lighten it up a little bit. Wipe that brush off, wash it off. And let's move on to red paint right here. And it can go on either side, it doesn't matter. But all this is is just kind of a wavy line down with a little circle at the bottom. Just a thick wavy line down with a little circle at the bottom. He's trying not to be a cute little turkey. I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint on a clean brush and just go around the outside of his head just a little bit. I like to call these ghost lines. Sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. And these little white lines are gonna go all the way down his body. So it's not really an outline. It's more of just an accent. I'm also gonna go all the way around my purple circle. Perfect. Now let's talk about black paint. If you like your turkey feathers how they are, leave them how they are. But if you wanna add a little bit of fun detail to them, you can take some black paint. Now this is kind of hard, so make sure you're prepared, okay? Um, but I'm gonna water down my black paint, so a little bit of water with my black paint to make it kind of an inky consistency. And I'm gonna follow some of these lines straight out. If you think this would be easier for you to do with a Sharpie and a ruler, you can wait till your picture dries and do that. That's your choice. And then from there, if you want, you can even take a couple of little lines and you could just kind of pull them out and make these kind of random. Um, but this shows where the little lines of the feathers are. I go in with the back of my paintbrush and some black paint to make the little dots on his eyes. And I'm gonna put them just into the center and then towards each other just a little bit. He's a little bit surprised that it's Thanksgiving and nobody's doing anything about it yet. Now, if you wanna make this a girl turkey, totally easy. Um, you just can add a couple little eyelashes on the side. It's amazing. Look at that, adorable. Last little thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a small highlight to the top of our beak by just adding a little, oops, I put my finger in the black paint. Look what I just did, it's okay. Uh, make a little bit of white paint right here across the top and maybe down the side. It looks like a backwards number seven. And then maybe just a little bit on this white, I mean red part. And then I think our adorable little turkey is finished. So you know what you have to do next. Find a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. Don't forget, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.